Mark. Hi. Uh, good to see you. Thank Last you. time I saw you was in uh, Rimini during the presentation, Christine presentation, and uh, you were kind of shocked by what's, what was happening there. Plus, you were looking for some things in the beginning of the year to find the happiness on the bike. How would you describe the first half of the season for you? So for me, the first half of the season, as you say, uh, on the team presentation, I was a bit, uh, you know, many question marks still in uh, in my mind and, uh, and yeah, uh, you know. But then uh, when the season started, Gresini team gave me the perfect atmosphere to to rebuild a rider. Uh, so uh, so yeah, they give me you know the the atmosphere, the the tools, and uh, all these things to to take all my my potential. And uh, thanks to them, uh, Ducati official Ducati uh, check a bit what what we were doing and uh, and allowed me uh, or to give me the possibility to to take the the official bike for uh, for next year in the official team. So this is something that uh, makes me very happy. But uh, but yeah, I want to say Ducati of course uh, because uh, for uh, 25 and 26 uh, I will be Ducati rider official one. But I want to say on the same time uh, Gresini team because uh, they allowed me and they gave me the opportunity to, to do it. When you say this, that you're going to be a Ducati rider, uh, I can see you smiling. Uh, but the whole process was not, not that easy because uh, there was a big fight between you, Jorge. How would you describe the whole process? How it went? When did it start? When was the decision made? So, uh, I mean, for me, I was a... Uh, I had a plan, as I say, in the first part of the season, I had a plan and uh, and the plan was try to rebuild my confidence this year because still I believe in my potential and uh, and try to have the maximum uh, competitive package in the future uh, for 25. That means that uh, I was looking for an official bike uh, and uh, this was something that, uh, that yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I had the opportunity now to, to do it, but but I was very clever uh, what what for what I need uh, for next year, and uh, and this I think makes the decision easier for uh, for Ducati for Ducati Group. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Hey Jorge, Hello. good to see you. The beginning of the season was perfect. How did you feel on the bike from the day one that you got on the 24 bike? Yeah, it was a nice uh, start of the season. wasn't perfect. We did some uh, mistakes for sure, uh, crashing twice, and, and yeah. Then uh, I think results were really good. I think we are performing really constant every every race weekend, so this is really important. And I hope to to have this feeling for the rest of the season. Uh, it's always nice to be competitive and to be fast. So let's try to keep this way. And the drop, uh, the bob dro uh, dropped on on in Mugello. Uh, the news about your contract that you're gonna leave Ducati and that you're gonna go to Aprilia. It felt like it's a natural story after Aleš decided to to go to retire. Yeah. How do you feel about the whole situation? Because it, it wasn't an easy and simple situation for you. I guess. For sure, wasn't easy. That's for sure. Um, I think uh, not the things not not always go the things the, the way you you think, uh, and you have to you know to try to look for for um, opportunities. I think Aprilia was the opportunity to take, and it was a nice choice for for my future. So. I, I wanted to close my future in um, in Mugello because I, I didn't want to come into this race still thinking about my future. So I think it was the best uh, the best way to do it and, and that's it. Now it's still a long way to go, so we have to focus on, on 2024. How do you feel about the, the rest of the season? I mean, it's it's not even half of the season that's left, it's more. Yeah, still a long way to go. We need to be focused on, on the on the year. Uh, I want I want to, I am a Ducati rider, so I have to ha do my 100% my for my team, for, for Ducati and uh, let's try to to do the best and try to, to win the title. I spoke to Marco uh, an hour ago. Marco Bezecchi asked him about how he feels about you uh, in the same box. He said that he can't really wait for this. Uh, what what are your thoughts on on having him by the side? I think uh, he, I think it's a good uh, rider to have beside me. For sure, he will be really motivated, and uh, it's important to have a strong rider close to me because it's the only way to to do a, a great bike together. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ray, Ciao. good to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How was the break for you? It was very good. Well, it was not a real break. I trained a lot because uh, it's an important part of the season. I can't uh, 
lose uh, too much training, but I I spend some good time at home and uh, enjoy with my friends and family. So so yeah, can't complain. What was the Valles reaction on the on the news uh, when you break the news that you're gonna leave the team and you're gonna go to Aprilia? How did he react? And well, I, honestly, he knew he knew since we started uh, speaking. So. Um, he also gave me a lot of advices, we spoke a lot, I wanted to uh, grab a lot of information from him to, to be sure that I wa was going to make a good de decision, so he was prepared uh, to the news. Um, but yeah, for sure, he's uh, a little bit sorry for the team, of course, because uh, he's a, also a team owner beside a MotoGP legend, but he is also very happy for me and at the end, uh, well, we saw each other on Mon last Monday uh, to watch Italy together, and uh, was the day that the the news came out. So he, we 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 hugged each other. He was very happy. He asked me everything <laughs> about uh, what I did, and uh, yeah, he was very happy. So you're gonna move from uh, Catolica to uh, to Noale? <laughs> <laughs> No, well, I, I want to continue to live in Rimini because I prefer, but uh, I will have to go there sometimes for sure. What do you expect from this? Because factory team has a lot more pressure, plus uh, a new rider. Both of you are new for Aprilia. How do you think the, the cooperation with Jorge will, will work? Allora, um, yeah, it will be different for sure. I, I don't know what to expect because uh, the difference between a satellite team and a, a factory team uh, I think is big, but I, I never had the experience to see, so it will be the first time also for me. Uh, but anyway, it will be, will be strange, uh, but also nice, I think. Uh, share the box with Orge will be cool because we, we had uh, our careers every time together so so i think will be cool now we are also older more mature and i think that we we have a very good relationship right now so so yeah hopefully we can share some good moments i will try to learn from him uh, he's a very fast rider so so yeah if i can grab some advices i will try <laughs> okay thank you very much and uh, have a good weekend thank you thank, thank you. you ciao grazie laura hey, Hello, good to see you Marik, uh, after dark days, end of the dark, dark days with Yamaha, you found a new home in Noale, and right now you are leaving the home. Uh, what happened? I graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I graduate. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, I'm honestly, um, didn't, nothing happened, to be honest. I think uh, in your life you have to make decisions, and I did, I did my decision. And uh, that's it. I follow my instincts. I follow what I'm confident about it. And uh, that's all. The only thing I'm concerned a little bit is that it's a long way still on the season. But I'm really motivated and uh, really putting the work, trying to really do again something like Austin. So I'm, I'm, I'm really motivated, to be honest, for this season also. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, yeah. No worries. And now, yeah, good to see you. Thank you. And God damn it, I'm not gonna see any Madonna di Campiglio next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, for the race, yeah. I will come. <laughs> Please do. No, but just uh, seriously. Mugello must have tasted very sweet because two overtakes on Mark and on Jorge. Uh, how are you feeling for the rest of the season? Uh, what are your expectations? What do you think you, you will be able to, to achieve and do? Yeah, uh, well, the Mugello has been a really good, uh, has been a really good um, weekend for me, you know, because uh, I was competitive from the start, and uh, well, uh, during the the sprint of Saturday, I'm still a little bit unlucky with uh, with Orge, but uh, uh, the next day has been uh, uh, amazing. My first podium in that track, and uh, well, uh, the last three up was. Uh, so cool for me and uh, I've been all very excited and uh, especially the last overtake no? in the last corner and a little bit on the limit but it was good and now but but it was sweet but there was something sour uh, regarding what you said afterwards that you slept for half of the race what you have to do yourself to be awake more often 
what do you have to do? <laughs> it's important the concentration, you know, and to stay focused and uh, well, uh, to be always motivated to do a great result and uh, this is the key, you know. And uh, well, now I'm really motivated and uh, uh, I want to continue like this. Okay, have fun in Assam. Thanks. Thank you.